I was approached by two Finnish producers asking me whether I wanted to do a feature film that was set in the 1950s Estonia. Now for a Finn, that sounds very, very gloomy. And I was thinking, oh boy, how do I get out of this? I wasn't interested really until I said, yes, well, I certainly I, I'll read it just to get out of it. I, I said, yes, I, I'll read it. And when I read the script, I think I was on page 15. There's a scene uh, 15 minutes into the movie when these people are having their first fencing lesson, the teacher and their, the, the pupils. And I was just fascinated. I, I thought, I need to know how this ends, you know, and Finns are pessimistic. So I kept reading and reading. I thought, it's not going to be this good. It, it's so good. It's so good. It's going to fall any minute now. And I finished the script and I thought, wow. This is, well, by far one of the most beautiful scripts I've ever read. I think our story applies to the world today in many ways. Now, it would be great to say I'm a, I, I have this gift of prophecy and I could foresee what was coming in many countries. But I, I think any country where you, where the leader wants to split people instead of unite them, any place where he wants to sort of pick points and, and rise by you know, picking people against each other, that kind of country has a very unsound uh, development going. Uh, and, and unfortunately, that is true for the fencer. That was true in that time. And we see it also in the Western world today. Well, I made five feature films and this was my fifth one. And they've all been period films. So there was nothing, there was nothing new there. But of course, when I read the script and it's set in Estonia, I don't speak Estonian. There's a lot of fencing in it. I don't fence. I don't do any sports, which you would see if you had a whole figure of me here. And, and it, it had tens and tens of children in it. I thought when I read the story, well, it would be crazy to do this film. It, it's so hard. It, 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 it's so difficult. But then again, the story is so lovely, so I need to do it. So I said yes, and only, you know, when we were making it with all these kids with, with fencing gear and, and a foreign language. We had both Russian and Estonian, Finnish, German, English, all these languages on the set. I don't speak all these languages. Uh, so it was a crazy mess, but it was a lovely film to make. I can honestly say that, that uh, there was no one in the crew, there was no actor I would change today. I was so happy with the performance of these actors. And what we hear, what we hear wherever we go with the film, whether it's here in Scandinavia, Scandinavia, it's in Europe, it's in the US, uh, we hear that people say, what lovely performances, who are these actors? And you know, from tiny Estonia, of course, these are not famous actors anywhere else. But when you see the film, I'm so sure you will enjoy the actors, and especially the children, they're beautiful in the film. For me, movies are most of all their story, telling stories in pictures. And when I read the script of The Fencer, I, I had this image of this man who's being followed and that the camera would follow him sort of from behind his neck and that he was looking over his neck to see whether anybody's catching up. And I thought, well, that image was a powerful image for me. And, and I, I thought, wow, I got to have that in the movie. I don't know how, how many people told me when I was making the movie, why do you start the movie like this? We want to see his face. And I said, wait a minute, we, we, we're going to see his face, but give it a minute, you know, any good filmmaker, whether it's Hitchcock or John Ford, they're gonna let you wait a while, or it's Spielberg, or it's, it's, it's you know, any other Robert Zemeckis. He's gonna let you wait for a while until he shows you the real thing. And we wanted to do that as well. I'm happy to say The Fencer has been received very well in many, many places. The Fencer was also Finland's uh, entry for the Oscars last year. Uh, we were nominated for a Golden Globe Best Foreign Film. And, and we were happy to, to screen the film in many places in the US. And uh, I think the, uh, you could say wherever we go with the film, the reception is enormously warm and people say, oh, I, I, I thought it was going to be a sports movie, but it was really a movie about, you know, a relationship between the teacher and his pupil. It, it's a kind of warm movie, that, that you know, classical movie that, that we've enjoyed in the past. And it was a new take on this classical subject. I, I, the, the, the movie has been praised all over, whether it's in among, you know, real movie professionals or normal moviegoers, fi film lovers of all kinds. It's been received really wonderfully, both here in Northern Europe and in the United States during the, our Oscar and Golden Globe campaigns last year. I'm working on something now, hoping to shoot uh, in late September, but it's my first contemporary story telling the story about an art dealer a retiring art dealer who wants to make this, you know, find this one 
really valuable piece of artwork before he retires. It's a little bit, you know, related to Hemingway's uh, The Old Man and the Sea, where an old guy goes to defy destiny one more time. And of course, you as the audience thinks, oh, don't go, don't go. And he goes out for a hunt, you know, to hunt this one beautiful master painting that he finds. So it's a story about a retiring art dealer. It's really a story about how to leave the scene with grace.